conditions of the mean value theorem or Rolle's theorem are met. So in other words, make sure your hypothesis is required in both the mean value theorem and Rolle's theorem. If it fails to be differentiable, even at one place in your interval, then the conclusion of the mean value theorem does not hold. So for example, verify the hypothesis of Rolle's theorem and find all values of C in that interval that satisfy the conclusion of the theorem. So we're looking in my closed interval from 0 to 6. Well, think about what type of function absolute value is. We know absolute value is continuous for all real numbers. However, there is a place where your absolute value function is not differentiable, and that's at the what? Do you know what we call it? The, the vertex, exactly, the vertex or the cusp, exactly. So um, we know it passes that it's continuous. We know it's continuous from 0 to 6. But the thing you also have to check is the differentiability. So you've got to check to see exactly where is that corner point or where is the vertex. So again, I know I've got my absolute value function. It's reflected. So I shift it to the right 3 and then up 3. So at x equals 3, <coughs> is this function differentiable? No. So since f of x is not differentiable at x equals 3. The hypothesis of Rolle's theorem is not satisfied for not met. Therefore, Rolle's theorem cannot be applied. All it takes is one place for it not to be differentiable or not continuous for your theorem to fail. Okay? So always just make sure that the hypothesis is met before you're applying roles or the mean value theorem. Okay? So any questions on why we cannot apply roles theorem to this particular example? Again, because 3 is in that interval 0 to 6, you cannot apply it. Okay? So any questions on... Um, not on failing your hypothesis. All right, another uh, last thing on mean value theorem is an application which involves velocity um, where the position of a car is moving along a straight road. In this case, we can look, see, look at the average velocity and the instantaneous velocity. All right, so therefore we can apply the mean value theorem at least once during the time interval where your instantaneous velocity must equal the average velocity. So what that means is this. So suppose the, if your average velocity for a trip is 40 miles per hour, then there has to be at some time during the trip at least once where your speedometer was read to be 40 miles per hour. You may be going a little bit faster or a little bit slower, but to have an average velocity of 40 miles per hour, at least one time during your trip, the, your speedometer had to have read 40 miles per hour. All right? So for example, Steve was driving from I-95 Springfield to Savannah, Georgia to visit his grandmother. At 2 p.m., he's at milepost 110, and at 5 p.m., he's at milepost 290. Assuming the speeding, this posted speed limit is 55 miles per hour, is there enough evidence to prove that Steve was guilty of speeding sometime during his trip? So we can apply the mean value theorem. And again, if you state your hypothesis, the position is continuous over this time interval from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Hopefully there's no brakes, jumps, or gaps in the road when he's driving. Otherwise, we got a problem. And again, the position is differentiable from your time period 2 to 5. So now to see whether or not Steve was um, speeding, we want to find his average velocity over this particular time period. So I can find my S of 5 minus S of 2 all over 5 minus 2. And again, this is your average velocity. Well, they're telling you his position at 5 p.m. was 290. 
his position at 2 was 110 all over 5 minus 2. So 290 minus 110 is 180 over 3, which is 60. So his average velocity was 60 miles per hour. So is Steve guilty of speeding? Yes, it is. So again, since his average velocity is 60 miles per hour over your time interval from 2 to 5, and the speed limit is 55. And therefore, you guys all know what those three dots mean. Have you guys been, that means therefore? By your mean value theorem, there is evidence he was speeding. Now your parents can just track you on that Life360 app and know exactly when you're speeding. All right, so any questions on um, the mean value theorem? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, so if you guys want to clear everything off your